an Oscar nomination is no mean feat for any actor or actress, and winning one is harder still. However, a select group of actors took home the gold for less than half an hour of screen time. Examples include big names like Anne Hathaway and Anthony Hopkins, whose respective Oscar wins for brief performances prove that it's quality and not quantity when it comes to this awards ceremony. Let's go and find out which actors won Oscars for less than 30 minutes of work, and a few more who were nominated. Can you guess any of them? Anne Hathaway, Les Miserables, 2012. Anne Hathaway's 15 minutes of fame got her the 2013 Best Supporting Actress Oscar for, Les Miserables. Jared Leto, Dallas Buyers Club, 2013. Jared Leto won Best Supporting Actor in 2014 for his performance in, Dallas Buyers Club, in which he was on screen for 21 minutes. Nicole Kidman, The Hours, 2002. Nicole Kidman was in, The Hours, for 23 minutes, but was still awarded Best Actress in 2004. Penelope Cruz, Vicky Cristina Barcelona, 2008. Spanish actress Penelope Cruz received the award for Best Supporting Actress in 2009. She won for her 15 minutes in the Woody Allen movie, Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Frances McDormand, Fargo, 1996. Frances McDormand starred as Minnesota Police Chief Marge Gunderson in the 1996 Coen Brothers classic, Fargo. She appeared for 26 minutes and earned her first Oscar for Best Actress. Judy Dench, Shakespeare in Love, 1999. Judy Dench won Best Supporting Actress for Shakespeare in Love, 1999, in which she appeared for just eight minutes. Anthony Hopkins, Silence of the Lambs, 1991. Anthony Hopkins is bone chilling 16 minutes in. Silence of the Lambs was recognized with the 1992 Best Actor Award. Kim Basinger, L.A. Confidential, 1997. Kim Basinger's performance in, L.A. Confidential, 1997 only lasted 15 minutes, but it still earned her the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Alan Arkin, Little Miss Sunshine, 2006. Alan Arkin played the grandfather of the Hoover family in, Little Miss Sunshine. He won the award for Best Supporting Actor for his 14 minutes of screen time. Ingrid Bergman, Murder of the Orient Express, 1974. The legendary Ingrid Bergman won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her role in the 1974 Agatha Christie adaptation, Murder on the Orient Express. She featured for 14 minutes and 18 seconds. Louise Fletcher, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975. Louise Fletcher played the iconic role of Nurse Ratched in the 1975 classic, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. She only appeared on screen for 22 minutes, but her performance went down in history for its chilling cruelty. Beatrice Strait, Network, 1976. Beatrice Strait won the Best Supporting Actress statuette in 1977 for, Network. Her five minutes is still the shortest performance to have won an Oscar. Ned Beatty, Network, 1976. Her co-star Ned Beatty took home the Best Supporting Actor Award for his role in, Network, for six minutes on screen. David Niven, Separate Tables, 1958. David Niven won his only Oscar in the Best Supporting Actor category for his 15-minute turn in, Separate Tables, 1958. Patricia Neal, HUD, 1963. Patricia Neal featured in the movie, HUD, for 21 minutes and still won the 1964 award for Best Supporting Actress. Her competitors appeared on screen for an average of 63 minutes. Nominees. Now, a special mention for the actors who earned Oscar nominations for 30 minutes of screen time or less. Viola Davis, Doubt, 2008. Viola Davis only appeared in Doubt for 5 to 10 minutes but got her second Best Supporting Actress nomination for it in 2009. Ruby D, American Gangster, 2007. Ruby D was nominated for Best Supporting Actress in 2008 for American Gangster, which she was in for just 10 minutes. Hermione Baddeley, Room at the Top, 1959. Hermione Baddeley was on screen for 2 minutes and 20 seconds in, Room at the Top, 1959, which was enough to get her a Best Supporting Actress nod. Gloria Graham, The Bad and the Beautiful, 1952. Gloria Graham featured in 9 minutes of The Bad and the Beautiful, 1952, and got a Best Supporting Actress nomination for her trouble. Anthony Quinn, Lust for Life, 1956. Anthony Quinn played the artist Paul Gagin in Vincent Minnelli's Vincent Van Gogh biopic, Lust for Life. He won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for a mere 8 minutes of screen time. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more information.